All right, for this installment of uh, Bush Class USA, we're going to work on the two-strand twist with man-made materials. Why do we start with man-made materials? Uh, man-made materials are plentiful, uh, they're easy to practice with, and once you get a, a nice long two-strand twist, they're actually pretty functional too. This is a two-strand twist that I made about 20 years ago. Pretty close to 15, 20 foot long around in there. Uh, I've used it for uh, deer snares. I've used it for uh, situations where I thought I was going to get heavy precipitation, ice or uh, snow from my shelter. Uh, I use it for my ridge line uh, many, many times. I've used it uh, just, you know, to haul firewood, to haul stuff about a creek. I mean, I've used it for all kinds of stuff. It's a little bit meatier than uh, regular 550 cord. It is made out of two strands of 550 cord. Uh, so it makes it, you know, a little bit more than a thousand pounds breaking strength. It's come in very handy over the years, and uh, sometimes I still carry it with me. The ends are whipped, which we'll talk about at another time. Uh, but you can also just, and they're melted also, and you can actually fuse the ends of your line if they're nylon to keep the strand from coming undone. But we'll talk about that in a little bit. What we're going to start practicing with right off the bat is 550 cord. Um, most things, most lines that are pretty tightly braided will work well for this. If you have something that's a really loose braid, it's going to be a little bit more difficult. But to start with, I'm going to pinch the line in my fingers, in between my thumb and my finger, and twist in opposite directions. And what that's going to do, is you can see it's starting to kink up. It's going to start to kink and then make an eye. All right, that's the start of my twist. Now, I'm going to take both of them and twist this way with them. And it's going to continue to lay it together. And just continue to twist it together. It may not look good at first, but just take a little bit of practice. Sometimes you got to twist one more than the other. There's uh, also methods of doing this on your thigh. There's also a method of doing what's called a reverse twist, which is what I use a lot of times, especially with natural cordage. Um, Cole Hain on YouTube or Pick uh, on Bushcraft USA does an excellent video on it, and I'm going to ask him to actually do the natural cordage part when we get to that because he's very, very good at it. Um, but for the reverse twist, I've got it started a little bit. I'm going to pinch it right where they come together. I'm going to take my top piece and I'm going to twist away and then come over the top of this one. So it's twist away and then come over the top and then my bottom one becomes my top one. Twist away, come over the top and then pinch it at the X again and just move down. Twist away over the top. And you can see after a while you can do that pretty quickly And it makes a pretty decent twist. Lays together pretty nice. So that's with 550 cord. I also have some cotton cord. And this came, uh, the cord that came out from uh, the poncho inside the poncho. So once again, we're going to start and twist in opposite directions until it kinks up. And we'll be twisting the same direction it lays together. And just keep twisting it together. If it starts to go off a little bit, you can straighten it out and, and manipulate a little bit, and it'll, it'll twist up pretty nice. And you can do the same reverse twist with this. Start at the top, twist away, come over, twist away, over the top, twist away, over the top, like that. Continue to do it that way. Also, you can even use something as simple as, uh, as like a, a real thin boot lace or something like that. Okay, utility line, once again, I'm going to twist it. So it comes together, and this one might be a little bit harder to see because it's a lot smaller. But this is the basis, and this is how we get started on twisting natural materials into, into strong cordage that we can use. So it's great practice and press, plus, you know, if you take your time and make a 20, 25 foot piece of this stuff, well, you know, that's, that's a pretty nice piece of rope that you can use for all kinds of stuff. So, but for 
for the bush class at a minimum we're going to want about four foot and uh, we'll be able to use that for a sling uh, for our water bottles or, or whatever other kind of uses we want for it. So we want to make a four foot piece at least in the minimum so it's going to take about a ten foot piece of cord and uh, twist it up and post it up. So if you have any questions go ahead and post them up too.